All right, we're back again, Brando. Here we are, back on uh, back on the stage, so to speak. Uh, another brand walkthrough, Ora Lee. Mm-hmm. This is one of your favorites. One of my favorite brands. We've had it for yep. this is our third season. Third or fourth? Yeah, I can't third remember. or fourth season. Yeah. yeah, but I think it's dope. Uh, for me, it does kind of read as a spring brand. When when you get, get the product that. and yeah. stuff, for me at least, I I, get it. I lean towards it maybe color wise. I or, think every brand either like they shine one or the other mm-hmm. a little bit more. You yeah. know what I mean? There, there, yeah. There's like not too many brands that are like totally even in both. Yeah, yeah, no, me. I agree. So I, agree. so I do think this brand really like shines in spring. Yeah. This brand is, I love it. It's some, it lands somewhere in that if you like La Mer, but you also like a little bit of workwear influence, but you also like that there's like an elegant and like kind of runway thing. Yeah. element yeah. to it. They do it really well. I think that the thing I like about them so much is it's all very rooted and simple and like minimalistic, but it also is very like casual and flowy and like yep. perfect and it's meant to be worn and it's 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 really it's really cool stuff that still has this sort of like elegant mm-hmm. laziness to it you know yeah no, I, mean? I agree in a really I agree. cool way i agree so uh this is we got a lot here to cover so let's get let's get right into it yeah we'll just kind of start top and i apologize start. we should have done this ahead of time but i forgot to look up all the names of the pieces so well you're to, you, you'll find it maybe yeah, yeah, grambo yeah. do you think you could throw the Names over top. Cool. Okay. Okay. So so th- that'll good. be there. So this is a it's a starting off really strong. So this is a really beautiful sort of like box woven, uh, like shirt jacket. It lands yeah. somewhere in between. I know people are going to be a little uneasy about like their see through nature. So people are either going to be like I'm in or out right there. Yeah. I think the thing to think about with this one in particular, why this one feels way more wearable than maybe others sometimes, is that it's like a shirt jacket. So you'd you'd, you'd be fine wearing like a white tee underneath. Yeah, I think like that. That'd you be the should. intention. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah. that like is the look so it's like super breezy even though there's like a lot of heaviness and like a heaviness like to the texture but there's not a heaviness to the weight this it feels like substantial but it doesn't feel like it's going to be hot mm-hmm. at all yeah I agree. like really when I you agree. feel it it feels like the air is going to move right through it so i think this is a really cool piece to just like have a white t-shirt and jeans and then throw yep. that over the top and suddenly it's way more elevated but you're basically just wearing it like you know, like a shirt jacket. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's like, that's a super underrated piece. You're getting a, a lot of bang for your buck. Th- this weighs nothing. It, it is, literally has no weightless. weight to it. Yeah. This very similar to what we just talked about. Treat it like, it's like a poplin, like it's like a yep. shirt, yep. but definitely with the zip meant to be worn as a jacket. It is a super ultra light nylon. Um, so it will have some breath to it, but it will also, there's a little bit of weather resistance, at yeah. least wind resistance oh, sure. to it'll, it. It'll, yeah. Really, this is going to add a ton of cool texture to whatever you're doing. And it just is like one of those pieces where it's not doing anything in particular, but you're gonna yeah. wear that with like a like just again just white t-shirt and jeans, which is really like in spring. I think that you want to like find a base layer that you love. Either it's like a flowy pant and a t-shirt or whatever it is, Something, yeah. and then throw that over the top. And now it's like a complete outfit without adding any like weight to it. Yep, yep. So this is a really I, I I think this is really strong. I also think it could look really cool layered underneath things, just because you don't often see a zipper underneath something. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunity to, to work that in in a lot of different ways. So I think that's a that's a really cool piece from this season. Moving on. This is okay, I think we similar have in nature. Again, very these. lightweight. Yeah, this is a really beautiful fabric. Yeah, here. We also have it in green, so I'm going to go ahead and yank that I out. Okay, grab the green too. It is, this is kind of one of their base layer. This is their regular, like, you know, shirt that you'd throw over or whatever. Uh, this fabric is, I wish, hopefully in the details, you'll be able to see it. The fabric, like the weave is really pretty. There's a yeah. lot of like textural and color dis- differences when you see it up close. But this is just like... This is like the perfect shirt to wear under a blazer, or it looks great, like unbuttoned, worn on top of things. Yeah. And it's super breezy. You can see how much like it flows. You can't really wrinkle it. It's not going to wrinkle. And it just kind of, it just flows and is going to be wavy and cool and yeah. super vibey. I, 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 I love a shirt like this in the spring. They're a little bit more expensive, but when you feel the texture on hand, like you can, you immediately know why. This is a really great uh, shirt, it, no matter how you're kind of putting it together. Uh, I, I really think that that's a strong one for this season. Moving on, got a little short sleeve number here. You really responded to this one. Yeah, I think it's sick. In. So this is, what's cool is this is a selvage denim, yeah. um, a Japanese denim. It's been washed and beat up and like handled, but yep. there's this really like, clean look to it even mm-hmm, though it looks mm-hmm. a little bit not like, too much going on not no, no, too much no. going on i at think all. that's a good thing especially in a short sleeve shirt like this just let the boxy nature of it kind of shine yeah the fabric is going to like age and stuff too which is just what like I, a denim yeah. but you can still see same deal as they're always good at i think they really lead with like drape and just kind of the way things overall 
hang on you, this is the same deal. I mean, a, a denim like of this category does not normally do what I'm, what it's allowing me to do right now. So this is going to be breezy, mm -hmm. have a lot of movement, mm -hmm. and still mm -hmm. you get that kind of rough and tumble look of denim. Yeah. So yeah. really, really cool piece. Love it. Oh yeah. So very similar to what we looked at a minute ago. Yep. Again, a lot of texture uh, up close, a little bit of, a little bit of sheerness to it, but nothing wild. Yep. I mean, something with like a, you know, a little tank underneath or something would look really cool. Yeah. And you, and what really is great too is, uh, this fabric because like I showed you earlier it doesn't wrinkle or anything so really easy to like roll up the sleeves and have that nice like cool beachy look mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. yeah just another another great classic that's really 100% cotton fabric. but kind of yes. reads like a linen like a really Absolutely. lightweight linen yeah. almost that like flax look all right so I love this and in fact let's do let's do these two jackets together okay back to back and then let's do the pants right after yeah just both of these come a, as like a full suit yeah um so this is like a reoccurring motif that happens throughout this collection and something that Orly does a lot which is this this ultra wrinkled look this always looks a little bit more extreme initially than it does as you wear it because it's gonna yeah. lie and hang and start to bring out the it's gonna like even out a little bit but you're still gonna have this really nice again depth of texture to the fabric that I think is really cool and this is really what I think they do best is taking something that tends to be kind of stuffy the and then making it like textural and uneven and there's this like you know blase aspect to it that I think is really cool it's like not it's like taking a suit and then doing the exact opposite of what you should do to yeah. a suit and then it that in that way it just becomes this whole new thing so the way I would do something like this I think number one either of them is gonna look cool with a pair of beat-up jeans or something yep, yep. but if you wear this as a suit and that's what I would do is wear the top and bottom just a great like you need something like a nice t-shirt mm -hmm. but you wear a nice t-shirt under that and suddenly this is like more comfortable than wearing like a breezy shirt and jeans because it's lighter it oh yeah moves a lot more it reads is a little bit dressy but because of the wrinkle and stuff not too stuffy this is kind of like an everyday thing yeah. and i think the more the less you think about this as being like dressy yeah the yeah. better it's gonna be no, and I also agree. like keep in mind for spring weddings and stuff that is going to be a very cool look you know what i mean like this yeah with like either of these with the jacket on top and like a great pair of like uh you know like lazy but dress shoes yeah you know i know what you're saying yeah, or like yeah. a nice loafer i was thinking like something. a lightweight loafer yeah, yeah. But something that also has like a little, like a, you know, a little, like a, some miles on it, I think suddenly looks really, really sharp. Honestly, altogether. the La Mer piped loafer with this would, would be, be kind great. of, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. ideal. Yeah. Something that feels very like uh, comfortable and homey. Just doing that, you're still going to look more dressed up than most people at a wedding. We've talked about this before. Yeah. So I think this is a cool way that like makes you feel it's kind of like, uh, yeah. even though it's all like very elegant and upscale, it feels kind of rock star and that like, it's like, oh, I don't, I didn't care too I'm much. I'm not worried about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So th that, th I, I really promote this whole like wrinkle thing that you'll see kind of happen happen throughout the collection. All right, we got another one of these sheer boys. This another, time short sleeve. Yep, so this is just a short sleeve version of what we've already looked at. It's in the fit that's more similar to the denim one where it's a, a nice boxy short sleeve. I think like having this in your closet in the summer is like the best thing you can do because yeah. it's just so easy and it just, it's hard to like complete an outfit in mm -hmm, spring mm -hmm. because it's like you don't want to add too many layers. Yeah. This is like adding air to uh, Yeah, there's nothing to it. So it's just going to add a texture and a color. It's just and then, and then add, you know, adding a little, you know, nice color to all their color choices all work together too. If you bought the whole collection, you could mix and match anything you want and it all looks really great yep. together. So yep. I really love that that's considered. This is a you piece, big dog. This is a this is a favorite of mine in the collection. I will be purchasing this. This is a super lightweight. It feels like nothing. It is fully lined. It feels r amazing on body. And the main reason is, is because there's like zero structure to this thing. So it just hangs beautifully. If you don't believe me, look up online. I'm sure we'll have fit pictures or you can find them around it just fits the body so yep. perfectly it gives you that classic like burberry trench look mm -hmm, mm -hmm. without having something so long or so weighty it's right in between the way i'm planning on doing this is like t-shirt i have like a linen like uh vest from la mer like a black one wear that underneath yep, yep, it feels yep. very like cool and like that 90s airport look you know what I'm yeah i know what you're saying and, yeah, yeah. But you can wear this like all summer like it really is just there's like there's nothing to it it just feels amazing and it's all so smooth the hand on it is is gorgeous yeah so i'm really excited there's also like this little bit of iridescent that I think is really pretty. Yeah, about a little it. shininess about um, it. Nothing crazy. Like you only catch it in certain light, but it's it's really cool. This is my personal favorite from the collection. This definitely is definitely a, a little heavier for a, a little spring heavier, piece, but, but man. keep in mind this is like it's kind of like imagine like an unwashed linen or something. Yeah. This is only gonna take like a little bit of wearing to really like drape great. The 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 cool part about this is the shape. When you put it on, you really see it. Yeah, it, it kind of does this. 
Yeah, think of an M65. I think that's like the closest yeah. relative this piece has. Um, and it, it fits that way. It fits like when you see like someone wearing like an old beat up M65, think taxi driver or something. And it just like, it drapes really well. This is going to be very cool layered up. Yeah. I think this is a piece that you could basically get away with for almost three months. I mean, three seasons, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. it, depending on where you it's live. It's a little hot in the dead of summer, yeah. but beyond that, you can make it work. It, this is a really cool piece on body. I just love, it's got the, it's got the, uh, this cover that I think is really sharp. And then when you have it all unzipped, it just, the way it kind of hangs on the body, it just, it really looks, it's cool. It's a really unique piece. One. I, might I, I would. I mean, I th I've always said that this is Chase's color palette. He just tends to veer away, but. We got a short sleeve box shirt. This time is, let me see, this is 100% linen. Yeah, so this is same same deal as like the denim one. A lot I, of imperfections in the fabric. Yeah, a lot of nep, a lot of color yeah. variation throughout. This is a very natural, undyed, untreated material that yeah. will age really great. Not, yeah. not not in color, but in texture and in feel. This is a this is a strong, like just classic look. Again, just focus on that. I love that it's a big square, super even, very like architectural approach mm -hmm, to this mm -hmm, kind of mm -hmm. thing. It's, it's boxy, it's easy to wear, it's roomy without being like baggy. Yeah, it's, I agree. It's a, this is a really cool, uh, just classic yep. linen shirt. All right, another piece that you will be copying, I believe. Yeah, this is really great. This reminds me of the old Prada Sport, uh, just even done a little bit more naturally. I, sometimes I think that when you get into like kind of like nylon blends, I don't love adding a lot of like shininess to mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. Personally, I like when everything's matte because it, it goes better with more or, like organic sure. looking mater uh, yep. materials, which I normally gravitate towards. This is that right in between where this is a, like a nylon blended fabric. So it feels that kind of like sporty, like tech material, yeah. but it's nothing crazy. Uh, and then it's got a, a lining all the way throughout. So there's almost like this like puffiness that sounds too extreme, but like there's, there's like a, a, liner, a yeah. three dimensional yeah. look yeah, to I it. Agree. And I love the, uh, the hanging, the big zips up here. It's got side pockets that are inside so it's not too busy. This is just like a great little like blouson. It, like you could you could dress this up and go to dinner. You can wear this casually, whatever you want to do. Go to the do. punk rock show. Yeah, it, it's a it's a cool it's a really cool piece that sort of like rides the line of a lot of things. It like it's like an elegant approach to like a not a biker jacket but something in that category. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Here okay. Coach. So here's that wrinkled thing again. Yep. It really reads well, especially when you feel this. It feels so great. Now again, once once you start wearing it, you'll see it doesn't take much for that kind of to go away, but you do get that 3D like uh, look to it. So you get a really nice like textural difference. The, here's how I would do something like this. Take something like this, especially the bold one, because I think we're both really drawn to this like bright green. Yeah, 100%. And you put that underneath like a, you know, a color like this, whether it's a blazer or something, and, and you keep that really like clean and shiny and mm -hmm. put this underneath and suddenly it just takes on this really cool like elevated approach to yeah. where this is all wrinkled up, balled up. You don't think too much about it, but then you put like a nice blazer over the top, it suddenly becomes a whole different thing. Yeah, it's on texture. So, element the color yeah again Aura Lee really has it does a, such an amazing job of creating pieces that can be worn casually or dressed up with with almost zero effort so it, it's it, those are really cool really sharp I think maybe people might be a little like thrown off by that 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 wrinkliness but I'm telling you when you see it on and and, and, and you look at that approach to it and put it on and think yeah. of it as a layering piece it really yeah. becomes a different thing this one's sick this is really beautiful really yeah. sick dude so this is like this really great I, I'm imagining I should probably look I think it's probably like a linen chill Oh, this is 100% cotton. I'm wrong. Even better because I struggle with that kind of blend of things. Yeah. So this is really great. I mean, it's like it's a heavy gauge knit, but because it's cotton, it's gonna it's gonna breeze right through. It's gonna wear easy. It's not gonna be itchy. There's not gonna be any like break-in period or anything. This will just fit great right off the bat. Yep. Again, kind of like this first one here. Same thing. You just look at this as like something you throw over a t-shirt and that's it. Yeah, I mean, treat like a cardigan or like a lightweight yep. shirt jacket. Some. It just looks so much more elevated and pretty. And yep. yeah, it's when you really see some of the knit work too, there you see like the yeah, along the top of the along collar, here yeah. it's almost like a natural piping and then you can see it kind of go through in a raglan it, it's really Crazy, yeah dude. i love the finishing at the bottom too it just feels pretty but yeah, also yeah. like but also like it's a cotton sweater so easy yeah you know what i mean i think this is a big standout for the collection so again pulling from that same thing as the denim one this kind of like boxier easy to throw on over everything just like the first one just think of it as like your little tank a little t-shirt underneath so, so you're not dealing with the sheer but honestly if it doesn't bother you the sheer also in this case because it's so heavy kind of works so I think either way, like no matter what you're like, what you feel comfortable in, it'll work with this one because there's this like heaviness to the knit. But keep in mind, because of all, because of how loose it's knit, it's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of breeze. Yep. You're gonna feel this is not gonna feel heavy at all. Yep. Uh, this one also, when you feel it right out of the way, it feels a little more starchy than the others. It's going to hang 
beautifully without yep. like stretching out. No, it has a nice weird. it has a nice weight to it. Yeah. This one has all this great. It's like two colors combined that you'll really see when you see it up close. There's like this like kind of like bright green, almost like in the wrinkled sweater, and then a nice kind of like flaxy yep. color that's blended. So really cool. Obviously looks sharp with anything in this color palette. And then you've got the more classic one here in a solid. Super easy to wear. And just another one where when you put this on with with a pair of jeans, suddenly this feels very high end without really having yep, done completely much of agree. anything. You didn't do anything challenging to get it there. Nope, just a little bit of a fabric. Yeah. So, okay, so just a this sick. is their classic denim jacket. It's you know somewhere between a type two, type one trucker. It's like in a blend of all it's of them. It's a shape, but it has the side pockets. It doesn't yep. necessarily have the pleating, but has some pleating on the bottom. It's yeah. To me, this this uh, this wash is really what makes this, especially when you look at it with like an ivory color, which is going to come up a lot in summer. It that just looks so pretty yep, together. Really nice. I really love that look. I love this blue sand shape. It fits perfectly because you can kind of see some of the pleating that happens here. You get that sort of like type two look and feel, but it's gonna it just lays better, honestly. And this is also kind of the perfect like weight and length yeah. and everything. So that uh, so that you can like wear it underneath stuff. Yep. Um, so it's it's this is a really cool piece. Here, let's take a pause here. Let's take a pause. We got the fire marshal out here. Okay. All so right. Picking back up. Uh, this is the same denim, but in the in a bottom. Yep. This is a pretty classic straight leg. I think we've talked about it if you've watched our other videos of how interested I am in like jeans as a trouser. Yeah. This is like the perfect example of said thing. It's still like a classic five pocket, but it just it's cut and reads a little bit more trousery, which immediately takes something that's easy to wear as like an, you could wear it every single day of the week and elevates it to the point where it's a little easier to wear with some of these like drapey pretty pieces. So I think it's really a nice thing that happens somewhere in between. Um, so it's a really great five pocket pants classic. We're gonna stop down one more time. All right, we're back. We got that that dang fire marshal out of our hair. Yeah. We passed the inspection, we're good. So we'll just continue on. I'll probably get an email later that says we didn't, but <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Said, you got a fire extinguisher? Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. got one around here somewhere. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. So this is a really elegant pant. This is very similar to like what we looked at up front here. Yep. In fact, it matches, it's the same fabric. So everything I said about that one being lightweight, textural, pretty easy to wear. This is like better than wearing shorts. Yeah, like I this agree. is like wearing nothing. It's so comfortable and breezy and lightweight. Yeah. This is really cool. And like matching it with something like like heavier and more textural like this, it suddenly becomes this like more casual, easy to wear thing. I don't care what you're doing. I also think that like, we've said it before, every time you put on a pair of dress pants like that, you're suddenly like, why don't I wear these all the time? This feels like, so good, it feels dude. So yeah. more, it's like wearing pajama pants. So yeah, I completely agree. Big proponent, I've been, I've been doing it myself. I love like a nice trouser or something with some like room to it. It's a nice, simple straight leg too, so it's easy. These are kind of a classic from Aura Lee. This is, especially I know we've got styled fits with this that's these are included this is a really nice fitting uh, short it kind of ends up having this really great dimension to it yeah. when you put it on yeah. the pleats add this sort of like kind of, kind of like, comes out a little bit yeah, comes just out slightly bit, yeah. then lays really nicely plenty of room kind of the perfect length like right above the knee yeah so it kind of it works for anyone it's dressy I think a dressy short is sort of underrated especially with wearing yeah. something more casual on top again it's like these easy ways to like elevate your style and make it like a little bit more like refined with Without really adding too much of anything yeah, to it, so it's it's the, and again breezy, easy to wear. This is a nice tough twill, so like you can put it through the paces without yeah. it being a problem. So don't don't get hung up on that. It looks dressy. It's 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 a material you could wear every single day. All right, where are we at now? So now we've done tops, we've done bottoms. We got two pairs of shoes. Two pairs of shoes. These shoes are so cool. Really cool. Here, hold so on. So it's this very like kind of traditional hand sewn. Uh, piece of footwear it's it's completely lined it's very dressy to a certain degree and I, what i mean by that is the fabric and the finishing is very dressy what they've done again and they're so good at is putting this super thin almost like a birkenstock sole on the bottom so it creates this like from the profile this really like casual thing happening it's not heavy they weigh nothing i put a pair on this pair in particular and this is like the calfskin one the texture on the leather is gorgeous the feel on it is it feels so good on it's like a sock yeah. and when you combine that with like a dressier flowier pant because like we've always talked about we like the Birkenstock and I think a lot of that comes down to I like the silhouette it creates because it's a little bit wider yep. and it's kind of low and that looks really cool in the summer this is like do best of both worlds it's like a dress shoe on that sole so it creates that wide low shape that looks gorgeous these feel amazing that is the best feeling shoe I've put on in ages and I used to work in footwear so 
it's saying a lot. I truly am going to have a hard time not buying those. So well, buddy, I still could, but I but I'm not sure. It's like, but it, I, I really strongly recommend that that piece of footwear. Yeah. That is one of the coolest yeah. piece of. I mean, just it's doing so much without doing anything, which I think is what Orly does so well. Yep. So it really it's it's a that's a standout piece. This is a really fun collection. I love the color. I love the way everything looks. I love mm -hmm. the way it all plays mm -hmm. together. There's really nothing you could go wrong with here. I, but, I, but I'm a huge fan, so maybe I'm talking out my ass. But I, but I really love this stuff, and I think yeah. it speaks for itself. Yeah, I completely agree. All right, cool. Well, that's Aura Lee. That's the spring collection. It's all up online now. Send them home, Jason. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Listen to the podcast. Timothy and I bullshitting. Uh, if you like this, you like that. Um, Aura Lee is now online, so hop over to shopcanoeclub.com. Yep. Uh, we have, I've been plugging it in the, in the podcast, but also if you haven't sign up for the Patreon, patreon.com slash shop canoe club, uh, month of April, we've got a lot of good offers. We've got a 20% off flash sale site wide. We've got 15% off scent early release to some footwear drops. Uh, another little merch one, two have at it guys. Um, it's a, it's everything's a, if in the you think all that sounds cool, we do that once a month. So yep. it's, yep. it's like, it's free. Yep. Yep. So everything's in the description. Yeah. Not all right. Yep. See you guys. Thank next you guys. Time. Bye.